Hello everyone, welcome to another Plan With Me video. I'm so excited to share my June setup with you all and for the month of June, I did a koi fish theme. As you can see on the cover page, I started by drawing koi fish and in my entire setup, I've used two ways to draw koi fish. Uh, for the bigger ones, I drew it in a more detailed way whereas for the smaller ones, I just made an elongated water drop shape for the body and made the tails. For the colors of the koi fish, I decided to go for very basic and bright colors that are orange and yellow. Oh, and yes, I've also used black. Then in the middle, I wrote June with my Tombow Futunosuke hat tip brush pen and underneath that, I made a small calendar. By the way, all the supplies I've used will be linked in the description box down below. On the left page is my code page and since koi fish is often associated with courage, here I have a beautiful quote related to it that says, a step outside your comfort zone is a step into your miracle zone. I love this quote because you know all the good things are always out of our comfort zone, something that you are unfamiliar with and to step into that uncomfortable or unfamiliar zone we need to have courage because those unfamiliar situations are never gonna make us feel good but once you step out of your comfort zone you will experience so many good things around the coat i made bunch of koi fish and also drew some water lily leaves Next up, I have my monthly overview spread. Now, for the last two months, I did a very minimal monthly overview spread, but I realized that I love this type of rectangle calendar layout where 
I can write my important events on the individual box itself. I don't know, it just makes me feel more productive in some way. My initial plan was to add drop shadow to the calendar but because of the koi fish I drew at the bottom right I wasn't sure whether I should add a drop shadow or not so I ended up not adding it and to the right I made two boxes one for manifestation and the other one for my monthly to do's. For the title, I used a different font style, but I don't know how to explain this, but I really love how it looks. Next, I have my budget tracker. I wrote the title first and around it, I drew koi fish. Now my budget tracker is always the same, only this time underneath the budget tracker, I have a box for notes where I'll be writing things that I need to buy or if there's something related to my budget. On the right page, I have a new spread this month and this spread is to track down the topics that I will study each day. On this spread, I wrote the title at the top and at the bottom right, I drew a koi fish and even though this spread is very simple, I love how it turned out.
on the next page i have my habit tracker now i always try to come up with new ideas for my habit tracker and for this month i made my individual tracker in the shape of water lily leaf and i also threw in bunch of koi fish so that the spread looks like a koi fish pond and i think this is my favorite spread from this month setup On the right page I have my study tracker and I think this is the only spread that keeps me motivated to study because I want the spread to come out really pretty Moving on I have my first weekly spread. Now for this spread at the top I made a box where I drew a koi fish and a bunch of water lily leaves and underneath that I made different sections for each day of the week. And this is the final flip through of this month's setup. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also let me know which spread was your favorite in the comments down below.